Hello everyone, this is Little Black Dragon, and you are watching another installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Dwarven Commoner Edition. In our previous installment, we came upon the city of Redcliffe only to see it already being under siege by the Darkspawn. Everyone is holed up in Redcliffe Castle, but it turns out that was only a small group, and that the maiden body of the Horde is two days away from Denerim. And so, tomorrow at daybreak, we will be doing a forced march. But it seems like there is some dire information that our fellow Grey Ord- Blah blah. I can talk. That our fellow Warden, Riordan, has to discuss with Alistair and I. Or Alistair and Gilda, as it were. So, with that, I believe we should take our leave and see what can be done. Ooh, Dwarf Commander. And what word have we from Orzammar? Has House Claret sent their men, or haven't they? They're stalling, which is as good as a no. House Claret's feud with House Fromald has flared up again since their son died in that Deep Roads business. So naturally they're pleading the need for self-defense. Huh. Fine time to start with that nonsense again. I've half a mind to... Ah. Evening to you, Grey Warden. I didn't realize you were still up and about. Is there a problem with the Dwarven forces? Nothing that can be dealt with now, I'm afraid. Just one of the houses being thicker than the stone that made them. Once all of this blight business is done, there will be a reckoning in the assembly. They're probably half hoping we'll all wind up dead. That way they'll have one of the strongest forces left in Orzammar. Enough to face the Darkspawn all on their own, I suppose? That's exactly the kind of half arse thinking that got us into the mess after Endrin passed. It was our good fortune that you decided to return home when you did, Grey Warden. For all that you needed our help, I expect we needed yours more. Well, shh, wouldn't... I am a little worried about the battle, to be honest. Huh. And so you should be. I was hoping you'd have some Grey Warden trick up your sleeve, truth be told. Are things truly that desperate? Do we stand a chance of losing? We will find a way to win. We must. I hope you're right. Under the open sky is a terrible place to consider dying, that's for sure. Right. Off to camp with both of you, and keep the drunkenness to a minimum. We have a long way to go yet. Pleasant evening to you, Grey Warden, and good fortune on the field of battle. All right. Well, let's be on our way. Hello, puppy! Good boy, Enzo. Good boy. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Oh, and if you notice, all of your companions are all lined up. So, if you have any last-minute things to do, you should do them now. But, we, I've actually done most of my prepping off-screen, so we are good to go. So, with that said, uh, we need to go to the second floor. Although, is there anything back here? No? Okay then. But yes, we need to get going. But yeah, I pretty much covered everything that needed to be covered, so we are good. And actually, we covered more in this playthrough than I had hoped. We actually got Leliana's Nug, we got some side quests done that I didn't do in my previous playthroughs of Dragon Age. We wound up not doing some quests, but honestly, that's okay, all things considered. And I got my Master at Arms achievement and the Menacing achievement on top of that, which was pretty awesome. So I am excited, to say the least. And we can't get what's in that chest because it's locked. 
Anyway, here there we are. are. Let's go see what Riordan has to say. Agreed. You're both here. Good. Please know I assumed you had already been told. Otherwise, I would have told you this when you freed me in Denerim. I'm sorry. What is it? What are you apologizing for? Tell me. Have you ever wondered why the Grey Wardens are needed to defeat the Darkspawn? I assume it had something to do with the taint in us. That is exactly what it involves. The Archdemon may be slain, as any other Darkspawn. But should any other than a Grey Warden do the slaying, it will not be enough. The essence of the beast will pass through the taint to the nearest Darkspawn and will be reborn anew in that body. The dragon is thus all but immortal. But if the Archdemon is slain by a Grey Warden, its essence travels into the Grey Warden instead. Huh. That doesn't sound very healthy. The Darkspawn is an empty, soulless vessel, but a Grey Warden is not. The essence of the Archdemon is destroyed, and so is the Grey Warden. Meaning... the Grey Warden who kills the Archdemon... dies? Yes. Without the Archdemon, the Blight ends. It is the only way. Then I will take the final blow myself. It warms my heart to see such courage. But do not hurry so to sacrifice your life. If possible, the final blow should be mine to make. I am the eldest and the taint will not spare me much longer. But if I fail, the deed falls on you. The blight must be stopped now, or it will destroy all of Ferelton before the rest of the Grey Wardens can assemble. Remember that. But enough. There will be much to do tomorrow and little enough time to rest before it. I will let you return to your rooms. I will see you once the army is ready to march, then. I guess this ends soon, one way or another. That it does, my friend. That it does. Ah, <sighs> that is heavy stuff. Well, it turns out that one of us has to die, and well, I can easily see Gilda s saying, well, if anyone has to die, I'll certainly do it. Because I'm not going to let Alistair die, that's for sure. I don't want anyone to die, but... Sacrifices will be made. Oh? And I guess I have to return to my room. But who is do this? Do not be alarmed. It is only I. Morrigan? Is everything alright? I am well. Tis you who are in danger. I have a plan, you see. A way out. The loop in your hole. I know what happens when the Archdemon dies. I know a Grey Warden must be sacrificed. And that sacrifice could be you. I have come to tell you that this does not need to be. And how do you know about this? I know a great many things. How I know is not quite as important as what I am offering you, however. I offer a way out. A way out for all the Grey Wardens that there need be no sacrifice. A ritual. Performed on the eve of battle, in the dark of night. Why all the secrecy? I don't trust this. Anything to do with magic stirs one's fear, especially amongst those who do not understand it. What I speak of is old magic, a ritual from a time long before the Circle of Magi was ever created. Some might call it blood magic, but that is but a name. There is far more to fear in this world than names. Hmm. Well, nothing comes without a price. Perhaps. But that price need not be so unbearable. 
especially if there is much to be gained. All I ask is that you listen to what I have to offer, nothing more. All right. All right, speak quickly, but I promise nothing. What I propose is this. Convince Alistair to lay with me here tonight. And from this ritual, a child shall be conceived within me. The child will bear the taint, and when the Archdemon is slain, its essence will seek the child like a beacon. At this early stage, the child can absorb that essence and not perish. The Archdemon is still destroyed with no Grey Warden dying in the process. What? I mean, what? Seriously? You're you're basically saying you want Alistair to impregnate you with a child that will have the soul of an archdemon. So that none of us will die. Yeah! That sounds crazy. Uh, so will this child become a darkspawn? Not at all. It will become something different. A child born with the soul of an old god. After this is done, you allow me to walk away. And you do not follow. Ever. The child will be mine to raise as I wish. Um... How do you even know this will work? This is what my mother intended when she sent me with you. She was the one who first gave me this ritual and told me of what I was meant to do. This does not surprise you, does it? Did you not wonder why Flemeth saved your life? Why she aided you? This is why. What is important is that I am offering this to you now. It will work, and it will save your life. Hmm. You actually think Alistair would uh, even agree to this? If you care for him as you seem to, you will convince him to. Consider what the alternative might be. Do you think Alistair will fail to do his duty as the future king and save his country? And if you take the blow instead, he loses the woman he loves. How do you think he would feel about that? I think you have many good reasons to tell him to save his own life. I think you should consider them carefully. Why Alistair? Why not Riordan? Even if I thought Riordan could be convinced, he is unsuitable. I need one who has not been tainted for long. It must be him, and it must be tonight. All right. Wait. Before I agree to anything, I want to know more about this child. As you wish. The child won't be hurt by this process, will it? Ignoring that after but one night it could barely be called a child, no, it will not be hurt. It will be changed. Will the child be evil? What will it become? Allow me to say that what I seek is the essence of the old god that once was, and not the dark forces that corrupted it. Some things are worth preserving in this world. Make of that what you will. Hmm, I think that has multiple meanings here. Not only may she be trying to preserve the soul of an old god, is she also doing this for my sake, as my friend? Or simply out of her curiosity? I don't know, but we have become good friends. What do you intend to do with this child? I do not wish to tell you. I insist. I need to know what you plan. The child will represent freedom. For an ancient power, a chance to be reborn apart from the taint. Is that not reason enough to do it? I will raise the child apart from the rest of society and teach it to respect that from which it came. Beyond that, you need know nothing else. I see. Enough about the child, then. Then you have decided? It is very difficult, but I'll talk to Alistair. I'll do it. 
A wise decision. I shall wait here then while you go and speak with Alistair. I urge you to be convincing. Yikes. Well, that was some pretty heavy stuff right there, folks. Unfortunately, we need to save and cut the video off here, but I will see you all in the next episode of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Dwarven Commoner Edition. And we shall see if we can convince Alistair to do this. You know the drill. See you next time.